we are at Teen Vogue Young Hollywood. What is it about this party that you love so much? Listen, I mean, this is my sixth, sixth year here, I think. So it's been quite a while, but I, I always love the vibe and the energy. Everyone here is awesome, and it's just like empowering to be around so many of my peers and so many influential people. It's cool. Is there anybody here that you would love to do something with that you haven't yet? Um, yeah, I think so. Uh, Isabel Furman. I want to I wanna do a, a movie with Isabel. She was my friend uh, back in Atlanta, and then we like reconnected in LA. So I'd like to do something with her. It's such a small world. Everybody knows everybody somehow. Yeah, really, really. I mean, waiting in this little uh, this little line over here. I mean, this queue over here. Exactly. You, you realize like how many mutual friends we all have. And I ran into so many people just waiting in this line that like we know of each other and we can finally meet for the first time. It's like a reunion of some sort. It's a reunion, for sure. And that was a vlog. Big finale, right? Were you satisfied with how the, the finale went? I was. Um, you know, there was a lot of hype leading up to it. I mean, the whole idea is that the dog talks and that we need to keep it a secret, and the finale is... How long can you really keep it a secret? How long can you keep it a secret? No, I think I think we left it um, at a good end, and I see kind of the same thing with Lemonade Mouth. Like, we did one movie for Lemonade Mouth, and we felt like that did it justice, and doing more wouldn't... But wouldn't I feel help. Like people would not be mad about that if you didn't. No, I don't think people would be mad. I mean, I have literally like thousands and thousands of tweets and comments on Instagram about like how people are upset that the show ended. But something about when you know you ended it good, like why mess with that? Yeah, definitely. It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. We're catch up with the dog with the blog characters in ten years. What do you think Tyler would be doing? Tyler would probably be owning some kind of a franchise of burrito trucks. And, uh, he is a food truck master. Exactly, exactly. Or maybe uh, running a female modeling agency. <laughs> that sounds sounds that sounds very Tyler. And on the side, hair modeling. And hair modeling, right? Maybe some like eyebrow comb product, an eye like a miniature eyebrow comb. I think that would yeah. Yeah. Let's pitch that for ten years from now. The reunion. I think it could work. Get some investors behind it. Yeah, Silicon Valley would dig that for sure. So now that the show's over, what's going on? I know you do music, you do all kinds of things. What's next? Um, honestly, I'm uh, I'm leaving to Vancouver in a couple weeks, and I'm producing a movie. I'm really excited about that. Uh, I'm acting in it too, but you know I've always been into directing, so uh, producing this movie is kind of like one step closer to that. Yeah, because I've done my own my own short films and independent things I put in festivals, but you know producing a movie that's you know gonna gonna air or go into theaters, it's exciting. Tease about what that's about. I don't think I'm, I don't think I can. Not gonna tease, except to say, watch it when it comes out. Gosh darn it, people! This is a big moment. They should be excited because all I know is that it's gonna be like action-packed and super exciting.